Hi everybody, it's Jay Madersky, Gateway Funding. So, finally the election's over, no more commercials or ads or smearing each other's names across the wall. Uh, and back to business now and what it can do and how this is going to have an effect on the market. So some of the questions that I'm getting are, hey Jay, what effect does this election really have on mortgage rates and how does it affect your business, meaning mortgage interest rates? Well, one thing that you continually hear is that the Fed is going to lower the rate or keep rates at or near zero until the middle of 2015. And what does that mean? Basically, what that means is that if the Fed keeps it at zero, that's the Fed allows you know banks to borrow money at zero. So they borrow, they lend to each other at pretty much a zero interest rate. So that'll keep rates down low. What can make that reverse as far as interest rates going up really comes down to the bond market. What is the bond market doing? So there's some of the things that you can look at. Are banks infusing more money into the economy? At that, you're going to have a lower interest rate. And when the banks start to pull money back because more and more people are using that money or getting mortgages or doing that, you're going to see interest rates go up. So there's some of the things that you need to look at. Doesn't mean that interest rates are going to stay low till 2015. Obviously, if the economy comes back and things start to really look forward and look up, then you'll start to see interest rates gradually tick up. But as for now, it's still a great time to do a refinance or purchase a home. Interest rates are really low. The market's telling you a lot about where home sales prices are. They're still at a good number. You're starting to see a slight increase, and you're starting to see more and more um, homes, less, I should say, on the market. So just keep an eye on those things and uh, look for the next video. Look forward to seeing you guys. Bye-bye.